coagulation. And Michael Ober, who has been one of the pioneers with the Navalos, has been working with them since inception, and we'll talk about this new feature. Well, thank you, and thank you, everybody, for, for coming this morning. I, I have been involved with uh, this laser since really before the first prototype and feel very fortunate to have used each different iteration and advancement as they've come through. And I have to tell you, of all the advancements, this is probably the most exciting addition, especially in the last couple of years. We always knew that pan-retinal photocoagulation is necessary for any laser you're going to use clinically, um, but the way that everything came together is far exceeded any expectation that I would have had. So how do you take the novelist laser with its, its uh, new ways of doing focal treatments and add pan-retinal photocoagulation? And the real secret is the imaging. So instead of just doing focal treatments where you've got this 50 degree lens, already seems pretty wide, now we need a much wider lens, and that's easy to add, and it's easy for me to say, but it was a big technological leap. Um, it's two pieces. There is uh, an objective lens, which you can see from the ridges here on the old uh, focal lens. is easy to unscrew and place this new objective. And then there's a specially designed handheld contact lens. And with your focal treatments, most people do them without a contact lens. You certainly can do it with a contact lens. And it's not uh, a big inconvenience to do so. Even with a contact lens, it's more comfortable to use the novelist because you no longer have to have your head in a position to look through the binocular microscope. You can look at a screen from almost any position. So when you put these two together, you really get an astounding wide field view. I'm not going to pretend to tell you that this is the actual view you see. This is several stitched together. But it is, it is quite an amazing view. And in addition, it does some things that no other lens has available for wide field viewing. Even though you're not doing a planned treatment, at least I don't for a PRP, you still have the target assistance. Notice as this treatment is going through that the laser spots are held fixed to the background even with the minor adjustments up and down of the natural movement of an eye. So when you're doing your pattern treatment, you can rest assured that eye movements aren't going to change the location of the laser. So you have this t what you call target assistance. Um, in addition, this is in a fast pattern treatment, which means it's got the minimal time between each spot. Your pulse duration is minimal. And this is very similar to what you see with the other pattern standard lasers, except we now have the ability to track this to the background retina. And uh, in addition, this has an auto advance feature. So not only does it go from your first spot to your second spot, it's also going to advance from your first screen. And then once you finish, it automatically goes right directly next to it. If you want to move down below or someplace else, you have several ways to do that. The easiest for me is you just touch the screen. It's a touch screen. And wherever you touch is where your next laser focus is going to be. Um, you're, when you're finished, instead of draw, making a little drawing and putting some X's on it, you have an actual photograph with circles. You've got these blue circles. tells you exactly where you fired the laser before. So when you complete a treatment, you can add more uh, later. Um, you'll also notice that the focus, posterior and peripheral, is essentially equal. You no longer have that power differential that you used to have, and you have a much more uniform uptake for each of these treatments. So that's something you can see here. Take a look. If you're using the fast pattern scanner, you don't always have to use the tracking function. You can turn that on and off based on the adjustments of the, uh, of the features. But Look at these, this pattern of, of laser scars here. And notice in the lasers that from posterior to peripheral, you have about the same uptake. I would almost challenge you to try and do that with a conventional laser. We all know it takes less power to fire peripherally than it does posteriorly, and you're constantly doing an adjustment of power. But not with the novelist. With its scanning slit imaging, it, it, it tends to give you a very uniform uptake. In addition, it goes very well through vitreous hemorrhage. Um, and you'll see from the different ways that you can image, you can actually see through hemorrhage much better with this than you can with a conventional treatment. So the video I showed you before was using a color light illumination. 
I never do that for the PRPs anymore. And this is a huge difference. The novelist has a sensor that can read infrared and convert it to something we can see. Well, this background, what you're seeing is in infrared. The patient does not sense infrared. And this is the greatest source of improved comfort with a novelist compared to traditional treatment. There's no background illumination. You'd be surprised how much that bright background illuminating light is really causing discomfort to your patient. Whereas when you do it without, this is, this is much more pleasant. There's a lot less pain associated. And you've got automatic pre-positioning so you can get through your laser at a much faster pace. You want to move to a different area, you no longer have to move your slit lamp or use your joystick. You just tap the screen where you want to start and it'll auto advance. You've got all the functionality you do with a conventional laser. You can change the power, the pulse duration, the spot size. You can also change the pattern. You could do 5x5, five 4x4, five, 3x3, four three three, or do individual spots. This is an add-in, fill-in PRP in the periphery where there's other conventional laser done mo more posteriorly. Sometimes you want to just do individual spots. You can move it around on the joystick or touch the screen. Very easy to go from one place to another. So in summary, the, the new wide field novelist treatment for PRP gives a very large static view. It's easy to move to all four quadrants. It's almost seamless. You can use your single spot or any adjusted pattern that, that you wish. There's a wide range in pulse duration. You can use 10 microseconds or you can use up to two seconds for your, your pulse duration. And you have a full range of different uh, patterns available to you. In addition, this infrared mode treatment, I would argue, is, is one of the best parts about it. I have many patients that have been treated both on conventional laser and on the novelist, and some of them won't go back to conventional treatment. That background illumination is a great source of discomfort, and when you eliminate it, it's m much more comfortable. Infrared also allows you to image through hemorrhage much better than you can see with a white light. So you see that background, even when there's hemorrhage in the middle, you can add treatments in areas you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Um, you get a much more uniform laser uptake from posterior to peripherally. When there's hemorrhage and pigmentary differences, obviously you have to adjust the, the power, but you no longer have to worry about the posterior to peripheral differences. Your focus is also much more uniform from posterior to peripheral than you'll have with any conventional slit la slimp lamp based system. So I hope you get the chance to, to try this very exciting technology and, and your patients enjoy it as much as mine do. Thank you.